And if we want an army of sheep led by a lion, we'll always defeat an army of lions if they are led by a sheep. Can I also repeat it one more time? An army of sheep led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions if they are led by a sheep. Let me say just one more time for those who are slow. An army of sheep led by a lion will defeat an army of lions if they are led by a sheep. In other words, leadership determines everything. It determines the quality of the followers. It determines the mentality of the followers. It determines the morality of the followers. It determines the attitude of the followers. In other words, leadership determines the commitment of the followers. Leadership determines the destiny of the followers. Wherever the leader goes, the people go. Whatever the leader thinks, the people are victims of that thought. Matter of fact, the greatest statement about leadership was made by the one who we call the greatest leader that ever lived. And he referred to two animals I want to talk about for a minute. The first animal God identified himself with is the eagle. Because the eagle is a creature of vision. The second animal God identified himself with is the lion. Both of these animals are leaders in the animal kingdom. The eagle is the leadership of birds, and the lion is the leader of animals. Now, both of these have qualities and characters that you and I must learn to understand leadership. And our world today needs some lions and some vision eagles in our countries. Let me talk a little bit about the lion. I think he's in a mystery to me. First of all, the lion is not the tallest animal in the jungle. He's not the strongest, not the most powerful. He's not the smartest, not the most intelligent. And yet the lion is the leader. Tell your neighbor there's hope for you. <laughs> the lion destroys everything you've been told about leadership. They told you you got to be intelligent. You got to be tall. You got to be strong. You got to be powerful. You got to be awesome. And the lion is none of them. He's not the tallest, not the strongest, not the biggest, not the most powerful, and not the most intelligent. And yet he's in charge. Which means that leadership has nothing to do with power and strength and intelligence and size and height and weight. Tell your neighbor, there's hope for me. So the question is, what makes the lion a leader? I'm going to give you the answer. Write it down. The lion is a leader because of one simple word, and it's the word attitude. Hey, boy, say attitude. The lion is a leader because of attitude. The difference between a leader and a follower is attitude. What makes the leader a different creature than a follower? First of all, leadership comes from a belief system that the lion has about himself. He believes that he can achieve whatever he dreams. As a matter of fact, the lion believes that he can eat an elephant. He believes it. Because attitude is a product of belief. Write that down. Attitude is a product of belief. What makes a person a leader is not a PhD from a university. What makes them a leader is a transformation in their belief system. Your belief turns you into an unbeatable force. And no one can live beyond the limits of their belief. Let me prove this information about the lion. Your life is exactly what you think it is. You are subject to your thoughts. You are a victim of your thinking patterns. And you will always be what you think. This is why the lion is so dangerous. His thinking patterns, his belief system produces a confidence that makes him fearless. Just like me. I am afraid of nothing and no one because I discovered the truth about myself. When you discover who you are, no one impresses you. When you discover who you are, no one's opinions affect you. Oh, I'm talking to myself tonight. When you know who you are, it doesn't matter what people think, because you know exactly who you are. What you think about me means nothing to me, because I know who I am. I am made in the image of the living God. I carry the likeness of God, the nature of God, the qualities of God, and the character of God. And it's too late to try and convince me in another way. Matter of fact, let me show you something that's really a mystery here. And that is this. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, As a man thinks in his heart, 
so is he. That means you are exactly what you're being conditioned to think. I come to talk to South Africa. I want to talk to Zambia and Malawi and Botswana and Zimbabwe. Change your mind and you change your life. We need some leaders who have a new mentality, a new conviction about who they are and what their nation can become. Tell your neighbor, I know who I am. And I will manifest it before I die. Clap your hands, all you lions. No more sheep in this nation. You are a leading country, a ruling country. You are on your way to become an example. I want to show the worldwide audience this photograph. Please put it on the screen for the worldwide audience to see it. Now, this is a picture I took myself. It's a lion looking at an elephant. An elephant is 100% smarter than a lion. An elephant is 58% bigger than a lion. He is 69% heavier. He is 100% more powerful. An elephant can kill a lion with one stump. But I want to show you something. When a lion looks at an elephant, put it on the screen, please. I want the folks at home to see it. When the lion looks at an elephant, he simply thinks one word, a simple word. Come on, clap your hand. He said, there's lunch. In other words, the lion reduces the elephant to a meal in his mind. That's the way leaders think when they see a big problem. They're not afraid of the problem. They say, I can eat that for lunch. Somebody ought to shout right there. In other words, the leader looks at the problem of crime and AIDS and poverty and all the problems of unemployment and he thinks, I'm going to eat that for lunch. I can fix that. I can recover that. I can restore that. I can solve that problem. We need leaders who believe that nothing is impossible. As a matter of fact, the lion is so confident when he looks at the elephant, instead of running away from him, he runs toward him. Look at the next picture, please. Put it on the screen. The lion actually jumps on the back. Tell your neighbor, bring the problem down. Tell your neighbor, you are strong enough to solve poverty. You can solve unemployment. You can solve depression. You can solve corruption. You can change your nation. Somebody say, leadership shall transform the world. Clap your hands, all you lions. Come on, let's start this place up tonight. You are a leader and not a follower. In other words, you become exactly what you believe. Look at this picture. When lions bring the elephant down, they do it not as a person, but as a team. We need leaders who are not afraid of company. One of the problems in Africa is that no leader wants any competition. No lion will ever attack an elephant by himself. Come on, somebody. That's why we need leaders who are not afraid of other leaders who are successful. We need to learn how to work together. Teamwork is the key to success. We need leaders who don't kill the opposition, but encourage the opposition. We need people to work together, not apart. That's why Africa is struggling. We got leaders who compete with their own, their own fellow leaders instead of working together. The secret to South Africa's problem is teamwork among leaders. Give God a hand for the churches working together and the government working together and the community working together in the name of Jesus Christ. Leadership therefore is a matter of the heart. True leadership is not a method. It's an attitude. True leadership comes from a belief system that you can do anything based on the true nature that God has put in you. You and I were created to be leaders and to dominate but not to dominate people.